Hey everyone, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are actually going to discuss about the TPMS and all the strategies, you know, the syllabus, what are the things that you should remember before going to the exam and, you know, everything about the over TPMS. So, yeah, and without wasting any time, let us begin. So first thing that I'm going to discuss about the syllabus of the DBMS uh, for objective purpose as well as in sub uh, as well as in hands-on purpose. So yeah, first uh, we can discuss about the objective. You can say the theory part. What you should remember uh, here: the intro part will be there. The types of the database system, relational model, uh, relational database system, and see if the in hands-on. Obviously, the queries will be asked. Like you know, uh, DML detail commands will be there, and the same things we can also expect in the objective. You can uh, say in the theory part also. So you have to you know, study according to that. Uh, the ER diagram and the entity relationship model about about these things. The questions will be you know mostly asked in the objective part, and uh, normalization part. You can expect one or two questions. So now we will discuss about the SQL basics, which is the commands, DML, DCL, TCL, and DDL commands. See here, this is not a lecture kind of video. I'm just, you know, uh, mentioning the topics. You can refer the, these all things in your lex course while the trainer, or you can say the educator is going to teach. Yeah. And uh, the operators, expressions, and or not things, uh, in, not in, if null, is not null, these kind of things you can actually, you know, uh, keep in mind while writing the queries. And the constraints, the not null, primary key, foreign key, check constraint, unique constraint, composed primary key, uh, the foreign key, why the foreign key is needed, these all things you have to discuss. And the most important thing is about the SQL functions. In the numeric functions, uh, the things which is the C, floor, round things will be asked in your exam. And for the character, uh, upper, lower, length, concat comments will be there. And uh, the aggregate functions, which is actually the sum, max, min, average, and count, these things will be, you know, as in the queries. We can say uh, by using these aggregate function, you can actually write, you, you have to actually write queries according to the, the scenario. And yeah, so these all things are very important. You can, you know, actually, you have to actually study really. Uh, I'm not going to say that hard, but still you have to practice multiple times to understand the meaning, the actual meaning of these things. And, and like the aggregate functions, the date functions is also very important. You can actually, you know, practice very good on that. Uh, order by, which is actually for sorting data, which is important. Group by having these things is important. Set operations will have union, union or intersection, the ex except thing, this will be there. And in joins, uh, in joins, we have inner join, self join, left outer join, right outer join, and full outer join, and sub queries, then the independent sub queries. So, yeah, up to the, uh, the sub queries, the syllabus is, you know, completed. The thing is that you have to actually practice multiple times, you know, to tackle the queries. Uh, then only, you know, the exam, the tricky queries you can actually solve in a very easy, easy way. And the next thing is about the exam, the pattern of the exam. So it will be like eight eight questions uh, on the basis of uh, a scenario. The a scenario will be given and can say that uh, three tables will be given. At the max four, you can say minimum three tables will be given. And, you know, by combining the three tables, you can say, you know, by extracting data from two tables by using join, whatever the co concept, you can say the scenario is there. You can actually, uh, there will be questions like eight queries you have to write, you know, extracting data. So you have to write eight queries on basis of uh, the scenario and uh, four questions will be of six marks and four questions will be of nine marks it, but it is actually four questions will be of two marks and four questions will be of three marks so total eight questions will be there and the total mark will be 20 and the 20 mark will convert into 60 so it's like 20 into 3 and which results of four questions will be of six marks and four questions will be of nine marks the first four questions will be of six marks which may which means uh, these four questions is kind of easy. I'm not going to say that it's, it will be very easy, but it's kind of easy to moderate level and it also depends on your luck. In my case, uh, I, I have actually passed in my first attempt, but it was the hardest exam ever. And for the second attempt people, uh, the level of questions was slightly, you know, easy. And the third third attempt people, it was the easiest exam for them. So it's like, it's like, you can say. And the thing is actually then if you you know if you are not able to score one query you can say you didn't able to score uh, you didn't able to fetch the data of uh, some query the nine marks is just cut by that thing so you know see the nine marks is gone by just one query so that's why you have to you know practice that level to you know actually write every query 
and the study material is obviously you can refer your legs for the same thing uh, the assignments the tryouts the exercises the quizzes will be given for the hands on as well as in the objective purpose and at the last of the uh, uh, your dbms course there will be a, a assessment for objective objective i think there will be 40 questions something like that 40 or 50 questions you are actually attempt that so get a, you will get an idea of rough idea of how the objective questions is going to ask and as well as um, in the last section there will be an integrated hands on session there will, you can say uh, there you can see a practice problem with eight queries just like your uh, the actual exam so uh, it's like you can actually practice those eight queries also to understand the level of the exam you know the things uh, yeah that's all so it's like uh, so people are saying that java is very tough and dbms is kind of very easy i will not say like that because uh, while learning java also you will have the habit of you know practicing the things multiple times you know the habit of studying a, uh, a lot um, the same thing you have to apply for dbms also uh, which means you have to actually practice DBMS uh, because uh, there was there were two people in my class they scored really good marks in Java but they failed in DBMS it was actually for the first attempt in the first attempt session uh, actually you know fair DBMS in the second attempt so if you study really hard then only really you can actually score good marks in the DBMS so it's not like you know completely avoiding DBMS and you know focusing completely on Java and uh, sometimes and this thing i will say that sometimes uh, the educators class is not enough for understanding the concept for the first time guys so those who are from the non it background uh, only the educators class and the lecture is not enough on that case you can actually refer youtube there will be a lot of uh, good lectures of uh, good lectures in youtube about the dbms and the basic stuff if you don't understand a query if you don't understand a command why the actually the update is update uh, set the, the these all things will be there if you don't understand the meaning of the thing you can't aren't able to you know actually write the apply that same thing in any query and kind of fetch the data so it's like understanding is very important concept and knowledge is the key uh, simply don't buy hard the thing uh, some people will be like you know i can buy hard the query i can buy hard and you know go uh, write the stuff there it's not like ha it, it will not happen so uh, prepare really hard understand the concept so practice very good now we are actually going to discuss about what are the study material see the material is actually your lex course itself you can completely you know uh, trust your lex course for you know the preparation for the dbms the as a, the assessment the assignments the trials the exercises the quizzes all are present in the uh, lex course after each topic see there will be a lot of trials and assessments you can actually solve everything uh, you know multiple times i'll say more than two to three times you can actually solve it and if you don't get one qu query you can say one question you know ask your friends ask your trainees sorry the educators then again you know try to solve the same questions because if you are you know very good in your concept the concept knowledge must be there so if you if you just you know by hurting the stuff uh, the the syllabus the syntax is there this is a syntax we just had to the and you you know some people will be like uh i know the syntax i know the stuff and you know i'll write the query it will not work like that you have to know that why we are using this thing in here so what's the meaning of distinct why if we don't uh, if we don't use the word distinct then what is the you know uh, difference between the output so sometimes it will be like uh, the same output but in some cases uh, i mean according to the data the output may differ so you have means like you have to actually understand the concept understand the things the knowledge must be there the concept and knowledge must be there then only you will actually you know clear the exam without you know by hurting uh, just by hurting the stuff you will not clear the exam that's that's a true thing you don't please don't try to by heart the dbms and there's one more thing that's the most, uh, you know, troubling thing is that sometimes uh, if we, in, in the exam also, there will be a thing that we can actually execute the thing and then submit. So in every question, uh, as I discussed, there will be eight questions. Every question you can actually first execute. There will be only one test case. Okay. So if the, uh, the there will be expected output and your output, there will be some session. Even though in some cases, the expected output and your output will be same. But then, uh, then also the test case will not pass, which means your query will not execute. There will be a red mark. The point is that some cases you have to actually put the distinct keyword there, even though out the output will be same. But still, you need to use the distinct keyword there. That you will understand by you know practicing more. So it means like in some cases the output will be same, 
but still the, the addition keyword is missing right then uh, your test case will not you know gonna pass so you have to you know understand each key points about the things and yeah that's the only thing but you have to actually practice a lot and there is another thing is that the practicing of tbms you don't need to create any uh, see in the in a college days we we have to create the database we have to create the tables everything in the in our exam i mean uh, there will be no need to create the database and tables everything is you know be given you have to just write the query the tables will be given the data will be there you know the schema of the table will be there everything will be there and you know see you can just write the queries and one more thing i will suggest you to uh, while the exam like uh, if you are writing the exam please carry a paper and pen with you because there will be three tables right you have to actually you, know, you can note down the scheme i mean the schema like the uh, what is the primary key of one table you know you can just note down the uh, column names of the table and just mark the primary key by you know uh, underscore and un underlining the primary key column so but then you will be not confused with the table there will be lot of tables and lot of columns so yeah you can actually carry a paper and pen with you for the easiness i did it and uh, my exam went very good uh, i mean within uh, 10 to 15 minutes i completed my eight queries and i went out from the class and uh, my experience about dbms is uh, even though i'm from a cs background and uh, <laughs> but still i failed java in my first attempt just because i didn't study really hard and i didn't understand you know i underestimated the exam and the training and the stuff then i had the experience of java's first failure then from the day first itself i was you know completely into studying dbms you know even though the concept is known by me uh, by bsc and msc i still you know started my preparation really hard and uh, you know sincerely i prepared for the dbms and the after effect is i cleared the exam within you know you can say 10 to 15 minutes so by practice only you can actually score very good marks i which is java or dbms you have to practice period that's the thing i hope you understand and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel and you know click on the bell icon for more updates in the future share this video among your friends i'll see you on the next video